Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Path. This is Dr. B. Meena, Associate Professor, Head Department of Commerce and Vice Principal Shift One from Petition College of Arts and Science at AR Chennai. In this video, you are going to learn on how to prepare secondary distribution summary under simultaneous equation method. Click the I button to watch my all videos to understand the concepts in cost accounting. Let me check the problem on how to work out the second distribution summary under simultaneous equation method. In a factory, there are two service departments, P and Q, and three production departments, A, B, and C. In April 2005, the department expenses were A, B, C, their respective overheads for P and Q also is given in this problem. The service department expenses are allocated on a percentage basis as follow. Service department P is serving to A 30%, B 40%, C 15%, and for Q 15%. And service department is Q is uh, doing the service for A at 40, B at 30, C at 25, and P at 5%. The question is, prepare second distribution summary under simultaneous equation method. So this is the problem. They clearly mentioned to prepare the second distribution summary under which method? Simultaneous equation method. So first of all, whenever you are going to prepare the second distribution summary under simultaneous equation method, first we will assume the service departments as X and Y to frame the equations to get the values of X and Y and get up, substitute those values in preparing the secondary distribution summary. Let me check the solution. Let X be the total overhead of department P and Y be the total overhead of department Q. Here the service department as per the problems uh, is P and Q. So I'm assuming uh, P is overhead as X and Q is overhead as Y. Now check out the equation how I framed then X is equal to what is P is overhead 1,20,000 plus 0.05y, how I get this value? Now look at this problem clearly, under the column P, under the column P, what is the percentage mentioned over here? Five percentage, right? So, uh, and uh, straight to uh, Q's row, what is the percentage? So five percentage. So against Q, Q I'm assuming, what is that? Y, so Y's value is how much? Five percentage. So when I'm writing in the uh, 5 by 100 means I'll get 0 0.05y. So how I frame the first equation, P is over is 1,20,000. So X is equal to 1,20,000 plus what is the percentage of Q? 5 percentage. So 0 0.05y. Then how can I frame the second equation? Y is equal to, what is Q is over at 1 lakh. So Y is equal to 1 lakh plus, uh, plus 0.15x, 0.15x. So this is the way I, how I frame the equations. Once I frame the equations, I need to remove this decimals, okay? So look at the, uh, the, the how many digits were there after the decimal. In this equation, I have two digits after the decimal. So how can I remove this decimals by multiplying by 100 for both the equations? So multiplying both the equations with 100 to remove the decimals because after the decimal, I have two digits. That's why I'm multiplying by 100. If you have only one digit after the decimals, multiply by 10 to remove the decimals is the first thing. So after multiplying, then next the equations will be 100x, x into 100, 100x. 1 lakh 20,000 multiplied by 100 means I'll get 1 crore 20 lakhs. Then 0 0.05y into 100 means I'll get 5y. That is the first equation. The same way, the second equation, 100y, 1 lakh into 100 means I'll get 1 crore plus 0.15x means into 100 means 15x. This is the second equation. Then I have to rearrange the equation. So rearrange the equation. And simultaneously, I will do one more step. What is that? Uh, 
that uh, when, I, when I'm going to rearrange the equation, C uh, under the X and X al is always will be the first thing, isn't it? As per the condition under the X, this Y will go that uh, left hand side. So it will get minus sign. So minus 5Y and here already under Y is there, isn't it? If I'm multiplying this first equation by 20 and this minus 5Y will get minus 100Y. So minus 100Y and the second equation plus 100Y will get cancelled. So I will calculate, I will able to calculate the X value. So that's why I return multiplying the first equation with the 20 to equate the Y. Okay, then when I can get cancelled, the Y will get cancelled. Then rearranging equation and adding them. Okay, so now look at that. I'm multiplying the first equation alone by 20. So 100 into 20, I'll get 2000 X. Okay, I'm bringing this 5 Y. 5 into 20, I'll get 100 Y. 100 Y, I'm bringing over my left hand side, will get minus sign. So minus 100 Y. Minus 100 Y is equal to 1 crore 20 lakhs into 20 means I'll get the answer is 24 crores. Okay. And second equation as it is will come because I didn't touch, I didn't multiply anything. So uh, uh, this 15x will go left hand side means we'll get minus sign. <coughs> Excuse me, minus 15x plus 100y is equal to 1 crore. So and minus 100y plus 100y will get cancelled. Then 2000x minus 15x. 1985x then 24 crores plus 1 crore 25 crores so 1985x is equal to 25 crores and this is in the multiplication sign when i'm bringing on my right hand side you'll get division symbol so 25 crore divided by 1985 x value will be 1 lakh 25945 once i got the x value i'll substitute in the first equation to get the y value so substitute the value of x in equation one, I'll get uh, x value, y value. So 100 into x, what is the x value? I got it here, 1 lakh 25,945. The same thing only I written here is equal to 1 crore 20 lakhs. This 5y I'm bringing here, minus 5y, okay, is equal to 1 crore 20 lakhs. So uh, when I'm multiplying these two things, 100 into 1 lakh 25,945, 1 crore 25 lakh 94,500 is equal to minus 5y is equal to 1 crore 20 lakhs. I am taking this amount to my right hand side. It will get minus sign. So 1 crore 20 lakhs minus 5y as it is there on my left hand side only. 1 crore 20 lakhs minus 1, la 1 crore 25 lakh 94,500. This amount is bigger than this amount. So the answer will be in the negative sign. Minus 5 lakh 94,500. And this 5y minus 5y in the multiplication symbol. So when I am bringing here on my right hand side, it will get division symbol. So minus uh, 5. So minus minus will get cancelled. So 5 lakh 94 500 divided by 5, I'll get the answer of y 1 lakh 18,900. So this is the way how can I frame the equations to get the values of x and y. Once I get the x and y values, then I will put the heading like this, secondary distribution summary under simultaneous equation method. And I'll allot the columns like that. Only particulars, total and production departments column alone will come under this method, simultaneous equation method. Have an understanding. Uh, you must be very clear in each and every method, what are the columns alone will come, okay? So particulars, total and production departments alone. So over it's as per PDS. For A column, B column, C column, I'll write as per the problem. 6 lakh 50, 6 lakhs and 5 lakhs. So I'll write this amounts in the respective columns and get the summation of A, B, C. I'll get and I'll write in the total column as 17 lakh 50 thousand. Then I'll take the service department P is over it 1 lakh 25,000. That is the value of X. Yet uh, P only I assumed as X. So I can get that service department P is over it as 1,25,945. That's what I uh, get, isn't it? The X value is 125,945. That is the uh, assumption I made. X be the total over it of P. That's why I written like this. Service department P is over it. Sorry. Service department P is over it. 
rupees one lakh twenty five thousand nine forty five to ABC at eighty five percentage. How I got this eighty five percent? Look at this problem. Against P thirty percentage plus forty seventy we will get seventy plus fifteen eighty five. So out of one two five nine four five out of one two five nine five four five I'll apportion to ABC totally eighty five percentage only. So now look at that. One two five four five nine four five one lakh twenty five thousand nine forty five into eighty five percentage. I'll get one lakh seven thousand fifty four. Then the respective percentages of A B C will apply on one lakh twenty five thousand nine forty five. What is the respective percentages given this problem for A thirty for B forty for C fifteen against the percentage given the service department P. Okay, so that that's why I calculated here. So I will uh, check out one two five nine four five the respective percentage to be multiplied means then I'll get the values thirty seven thousand seven eighty four. Then one two five nine four five into forty percentage for B. One two five nine four five into fifteen percentage for C. I'll get this values fifteen thousand three seventy eight and eighteen thousand eight ninety two. Okay, then I'll uh, make use of the Y value. What is the Y value? That is the assumption of uh, Q's over it. So service department Q's over it. One lakh eighteen thousand nine hundred to A B C at ninety five percentage. How I got ninety five percentage? Against Q, I need to check and ensure forty plus thirty plus twenty five ninety five. So forty for A, thirty for B, and C is twenty five. Totally, it is ninety five. Okay. So one lakh eighteen thousand nine hundred into forty percentage, and then Uh, the respective percent to be multiplied with this one lakh eighteen thousand nine hundred means I'll get this values forty seven five sixty thirty five six seventy twenty nine thousand seven twenty five. How I got the seven twenty nine thousand seven twenty five one lakh eighteen thousand nine hundred into twenty five percentage for C one lakh eighteen thousand nine hundred into thirty percentage for B one lakh eighteen thousand nine hundred into forty uh, percentage for A. This way, if you calculate, means you will get these values: forty-seven five sixty for A, thirty-five six seventy for B, and twenty-nine thousand seven twenty-five for C. Then the total one lakh twelve thousand nine fifty-five, or one lakh eighteen thousand nine hundred into ninety-five percentage. Then once you redistributed among the production departments, just put the total of all the columns. Write the answer is total overheads of production departments as per. simultaneous equation method thanks for watching my video see you again next video keep supporting me by sharing this videos to your known circle and subscribe my channel click the bell button we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye